Hey guys, Henry Olsen here, live from my studio here in Austria. I hope you can see me properly. So, I've been practicing this riff here. And it's been pretty tough for me to learn how to play it. This is a totally new thing for me. And the reason I'm coming um, to you today with this live kind of session here is to show you that even after I've been playing guitar and teaching guitar for more than a decade, when I learn new things, it's still tough for me to play them. So I'm just going to kind of run down and show you quickly this, this little riff. <laughs> And explain to you how I'm trying to learn it. So it has this really fast. See that? And every finger has to perfectly find the note. It has to be fully automatic. And the first couple of times that I tried to play it, or the first half an hour that I've been trying to play it. play it. So the way I like to practice these things is I slow them down a lot. So I make sure that I remember the riff. See that? I want to remember it. And then I want to slow it down as slowly as I possibly can. And really look at the details of what's happening. So I'm, I'm checking my picking hand to see how to optim, optimize my picking. And then once I kind of figured out how to optimize my picking, I want it to never change. So I want that to be um, something that happens fully automatically. And that's what you should do too. When you're practicing something, you want it to be fully automatic. So you want to get your notes down, your picking down, and then not change that. And practice that exact way a million times. And be aware that it's going to take time. Like, I'm trying to play this thing. Let me show you right now. So I'm going to go. See, I messed up. And kind of the point of this is to also show you that no matter how long we've been playing, we're always going to mess up when we're learning something new. But we have to be comfortable with that process of messing up and having things not be perfect. Because if we just stick to it, they will become close to perfect. So, kind of what I was trying to do this live thing for is just to show you that even though I've been playing and teaching for so many years, if I try to play you this riff now, all right, now I played it properly, but there was a good chance that I would have messed up. So what I want you to know is that no matter how advanced you are as a player and no matter what kind of um, riff you're trying to learn, if it's new, it's going to be difficult. And you just want to become comfortable with that new riff being difficult. And you have to trust in the process that in time, it's going to get easier. So the really last thing that I want to just leave you with here is the idea that it never changes. So playing the guitar never changes changes. No matter if you're a beginner player, if you've been playing professionally, you're still going to have challenges and it's always going to be kind of the same feeling and the same joy um, once you practice that thing that you couldn't play enough to make it really easy to play in time. Okay, so don't get frustrated with yourself if you can't play things right away. In time, they will be easier for you to play. And um, my final point is that it always feels the same. So learn to enjoy the process of learning a new song or a new riff at the point that you're at right now. Okay, because even if you've been playing for two years, three years, four years, you might think in five years it's going to be amazing. 
the way I'm going to be able to play in five years. And you're going to be able to learn songs faster, but it's still going to be that same process. So I know a lot of you guys are beginners. Just enjoy that beginner process of learning a song, having your fingers not be able to do it, and then working at it, like I'm going to keep working at this, until it's really nice and smooth and easy to play. So the feeling of playing guitar never changes, no matter how good you are, that's really what I wanted to say, and that's why just learn to enjoy it and um, make sure that you record yourself and upload stuff also to places like this because that also forces you to grow, okay? So, thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'm not exactly sure who's in here. John Robson, Ashley Horney. I hope I pronounced that properly. Dino, nice to see you guys. Thanks for joining me. If you're just joining me, I was just saying that I'm practicing this new riff. And that it's hard for me to play. And that I'm okay with that because I know that if I just stick to it and stick to the process that it's going to be easy. And then the second point that I kind of wanted to make was that it never changes. Whether you're a professional player or a beginner player, new songs are always going to be hard and you're always going to have the same kind of challenges. And you have to learn to love those. Okay? And that's the joy of playing guitar, you know, because you, you get better and that gives you pleasure when you get better. So. Thanks for joining me and watching this video. I hope that it somehow brought you some value. I want you to watch me practice now if you want to for another couple of seconds just so you can see how much I also mess up. Um, but also so you know that I know that I'm going to mess up and I know that it's going to get better after I messed up enough. So let me just play this for you a couple of times and then I'm going to say ciao papa and um, thanks for watching. Alright, let's go. <laughs> So, if you want to learn this riff, let me know. It's not the easiest one to play. But I could maybe make a lesson if you guys really want. So, thanks for watching. I hope that this somehow encouraged you. And um, thanks for being in the Facebook group. Thanks for um, supporting each other. I watch all your videos. I check out all the comments. And I really, really appreciate you guys being a part of this um guitar community that I'm trying to build here together with you as um, so we become a nice guitar community supporting each other so thanks for being here I love you guys um, talk to you soon thanks for watching bye bye hope this helped you bye let me see if I can figure out how to turn this thing off